What's up guys, it's Jafer and I got my buddy Wrigley here and we're gonna go on a little journey with Riot's newest mouse pads. Okay, so Riot is releasing all of their merch in waves. This is considered the second wave of their merch and the first time that they're releasing uh, mouse pads. And so the two mouse pads that you're able to choose from is gonna be Phoenix or Jet and they're completely identical. There's no change or difference in any speed or control with them. They're the identical pad, just screen printed differently. And again, I can't emphasize on this enough, do not buy these. I bought them out of just pure hype because I do like the Valorant game and I do like Riot's merch in general and what they have to offer. But uh, with these being $18 each, they're only 14 by 10 inches, which is 356 millimeters wide and only 254 millimeters tall. These boys are tiny. And to give you an idea, let me just grab my... The Artisan Heen is obviously the XL, but I mean, it's gonna take up the entire camera. And you can just see overall just how small it is to give you an idea. Uh, unless you're playing at like a super high DPI and crazy sense, I would not recommend getting these at all. Um, they're just way too expensive for how little they are. They honestly remind me of being a kid and taking the mouse pads from the public library when I needed one because they're just so small. And the actual surface themselves, uh, the x-axis is very smooth but the y it feels like i'm grating cheese it is so terrible folks you have no idea uh the actual printing though is super clean i will say that like it's really really legible the colors don't bleed over one another or anything like that uh the actual edging there's a lot of overlapping here that's pretty terrible but that's kind of par for the course with like a cheap mouse pad and then the bottom is just your standard rubber grip so nothing too crazy i mean the style of them uh it almost looks like like an intern graphics designer just kind of like sent a file over and they cropped it wrong because it's missing you know valorant here and it just looks it looks really off i don't know if it was supposed to be done on purpose or not but i mean you would think they would kind of resize this to look a little better but uh that's the same with the phoenix one as well so might have been done on purpose however you can see where the L shows up a little bit more on the Jet than on the Phoenix. So not to get nitpicky, but obviously the quality assurance or quality control on this isn't really the best. And luckily that double stitch anti-fray edge uh, does work really well as this thing is super plush. It feels almost like a stuffed animal. It is not a surface I enjoy using at all. And with me spending $36 on this uh, for both of them, uh, pretty annoyed by it, but I thought because these mouse pads are so terrible and I really have no use for them whatsoever with how just like muddy they are as far as using them and how small, what other ways could we use these pads for? To spruce up that bathroom, get rid of that old bath mat and drop this jet mouse pad down for some really good updraft action coming out of that shower. Maybe double up on your doormat to prevent any ice buildup. Not to be left out, Wrigley says, hey, maybe use it as your pet's mat for their water and food. It is a perfect size, and honestly, it fits really well. I think Wrigley does approve. Of course, if you need to do dishes and you have a raggedy old dish mat, by all means, toss that one to the side and grab yourself a Riot Valorant mouse mat, so that way you can then change it into a versatile dish mat as well. And then quickly move it over to a table mat so dinner is always prepared for you. So yeah, do not buy these. Until next time, I'm Jay for you guys stay safe.